Hey folks, welcome back, Kid Coach G's Outdoors, tips and tricks version. That's correct, how you doing? All right, today we're gonna to go through a series of blackfish rigs, Tatar rigs, if you wanna call them Tatar, I don't call them Tatar, I call them blackfish, all right? Who even knows how to spell Tatar? <laughs> we're gonna go through a series of rigs right now, we're gonna go through a very simple rig, which is gonna be the rig that I put all my clients on, all my people on, is a single rig. It's a single hook rig to a drop a loop, I'll show you the drop a loop now. All right, first, like I said, here we go. We got the Truth SG 50 pound test on it. What a mac. And we're going to tie a W uni knot. All right, it's going to go to this stuff right here. Grand Slam. You got a peek at that stuff. 60 pound monofilament. All right, that's going to be our leader material. So we're going to do a W uni knot to that right now, which I'm going to tie. You guys should jump online, just Google or YouTube the animated version of the W uni knot. You'll find out how to do that. All right, so stand by. Let me do that stuff right now. I don't want you to see me tie. It'll take forever. Be boring. It'll be boring footage. My video's boring enough, all right? Check out these. Stand by. All right, folks, welcome back. Double Uni has been tied. Oh my right? goodness, that was like magic. I think you tell us. All right, so now I'm just gonna take off. I usually take 10 feet. 10 feet, boom. Cut that. All right, so now we have 50 pounds with Double Uni to 10 foot liter of. 60 pound on the phone. All right, next, we're gonna at the bottom here, just do a dropper loop. You guys know how to do dropper leaps. You need to do that, I can do it real quick. So I drop a loop right there, boom, little guy. So that's our drop loop. And then we're gonna do another small, really small loop where our breakaway sink is gonna go. All right, so double overhand knot on the bottom here. This is how the rig's gonna look. This is where the one rig's gonna stand off here. We get the rig. Everything is going to be attached like this. This bottom is gonna be for the sinker breakaway. And the other hooks are gonna just go through the loop like this. Double hook go through. Come on, there you go. And that's it. That's that rig right there. Bottom guy is going to be a sinker. That's it, goes all the way up to the uh, braid. And that's how it looks, all right? Sinker's gonna be down here. Lead material is gonna stand off, all right? Your sinker is here. That's your double hook break, and that's it. All right, so that's how everything's gonna be put together. That's how everything's gonna sit on the bottom of the sea floor. All right, so that's what that is. Let's start to show you how to tie these rigs now. All right, so let's start the first single rig. Boom, good shop here. Leader material. This is 50 pound. This is a five odd hook right here. But what we're going to look to use, and I suggest that you use, is the owner three odd hooks for these bit uh, for this type of rig. All right. So what we're going to do here is going to be the first single rig. It's going to be snell it again. There's a million ways to snell. The easiest way for me to show you how to snell is come through the hook that way, grab it, wrap towards, wrap towards the uh, eye. Real, really simple. All right, and then you push up, the leader through the hook, put the tag in through, pull down, pull. That's it. Deep grip on that guy. All right, I usually go with a D ring here, pull down there. I'll show that to you later. Pull, tighten it up. The tighter that gets pulled, the tighter that snail is. All right, so we're just going to take a little piece, snap that little baby off, move it off. Don't take it all the way off. Leave about that much on there if you can see that. I don't even know if you can. All right, so that's it. So the first one, we're gonna do, like I say, it's about 10 inches. We're gonna do a double overhand loop, really simple. Overhand once, overhand twice, pull it, that is it. Back to the D ring, tighten up. All right, I'm gonna cut the tag off. I'll show you what we got. That tag end is off. Single hook. It's gonna go to that drop loop, remember. There's your hook for the blackfish, and that's it. That's number one. Simple as it gets, the easiest way to catch blackfish is this rig right here. No question about it. Alright. Now I want to show you a cool rig. I'm gonna show you the easy way to do a snafu rig. Alright. And snafu rigs are pretty difficult to tie because you want to make sure the legs are perfectly straight, you know, the same dimension, same length. I'll show you an easy way to do it. Nice kick cheese technique. It's flawless because you can't you can't screw it up, all right? 
So basically what I'm going to do is, I mean, the snaffle rig has been, like I said, it's been designed for all these Brooklyn boys over there. But Brooklyn's no joke when it comes to black fishing, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to snail both those hooks like I showed you. I have a lead piece of lead material. You can go over to any tackle shop and ask for leading material. I call it hard line. The reason I call it hard line, see how it stands off like that? That's, that's really nice for blackfish. Blackfish, people say they're line. I don't believe that they're line shy. Uh, I know the guy who put the world record uses, says fluorocarbon means everything. I don't really believe that, but that's what he says. That's what he says. All right, I've caught many blackfish, over 10 pounds with these. 10 pound blackfish is an old blackfish. So they, they, they're just not lead shy. They just, they see a crab, they're gonna eat the crab. That's bottom line, all right? All right, so we're gonna take that full piece of lead material on each end with a snella hook. So now what we have here is one long piece with two hooks on it, all right? This is where the easy part is. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock both of these into a D-ring. We're gonna lock, instead of using a D-ring, we're gonna use this rod even. Just for, you can see that, all right? Probably not a good idea. <laughs> Probably not a great idea, but this is just for, the D-ring is right below me here. So I'm gonna lock both of these hooks in together Okay, I'm gonna pull like this. Now I know that these are dead bulls accurate. They're both the same leg length. All right, I'll let it hang this way. Thank you very much. All right, so I know they're both the, the right length. So what I'm gonna do is now, is so I'm gonna hold it tight. And I'm gonna do another double overhand knot. Before, after. <laughs> Boom, double overhand knot. All right, so let's look at this. This will go into your loop at the bottom. Now you have two perfectly hooked hooks at the end here, all right? So this is gonna drop in. Here's your snafu because now you have double hooks. All right, double hooks now, we're gonna go into each leg socket and hook up like that. All right, they're gonna go into both, both leg sockets and hook up like that. The beauty of it is they're both perfectly length. The length is perfect, so you're not gonna have one long and pulling the crab unnaturally. These are both exactly the same size and it's nice. It really works very easily. Again, both leg sockets, one on each side of the uh, crab's shell. You got a perfect snafu, all right? There are other ways to tie snafu, but I was, you know, it takes a lot longer to make sure that those legs are dead, being accurate. All right, so that's it, real simple. Drop a loop, double hook rig, snafu rig. Both legs are perfectly the same size. I don't know, that's a little thing I learned. A tree, you know, whatever. I'm like a freak right now. I don't. You are a freak. All right, so you guys got that, right? Boom, boom. Next rig's gonna be the double Fugazi hook rig. All right, remember I tied that first single rig like that. I'll be nine inch, 10 inch lead right there. All right, 10 inch lead. I'm gonna duplicate that one. I'll show you how we tie that together for another double hook rig for black fishing or any species of bottom fish, all right? So now let's bad boy. Some people like to do the perfection loop on that thing. This double overhand is so damn easy, it's ridiculous, all right? All right, so here's a double hook rig. We got two of the same size guys who are fairly close. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take one, bend it over. What? That sounded weird. Yeah, right, whatever. We're gonna fold it, that the legs are perfectly the same. And we're gonna take the loop of the second hook, all right? I showed just before, we go over it, all right? Over it. And we're gonna take the hook and go through the top. All right, I'm gonna send that baby through. That's it. So now we're gonna take take the short end, do an overhand loop, overhand knot. I'm sorry. Tie that there. Not gonna pull too tight. That's what we're gonna do. Is we're gonna grab the loop and a long hook to tighten that up. See that? All right. Make sure you grab the long hook and the loop to pull tight, or else if you pull on that hook, it's gonna foul it. All right, so that's the third guy. That's gonna, that drop loop's gonna go through the bottom drop loop of your uh, rod. And then you have this rig here, all right? Another killer rig, all right? This one stands off, it doesn't get tangled up. See how the hard line prevents it from running down? So you put a grab on that guy, grab on this guy, and you have this, a double hook, you know, double rig. All right, into the drop loop, then go, then go. Again, bang for your buck, the single hook, Thank you, Buck. The single hook is legit. The Fugazi Snafu rig, legit. Personally dig the single hook right onto the uh, rod. 
That's it. Do I have another one? No, because I went from snafu, Fugazi snafu, double, single. Oh, for God's sake, I forgot. I forgot to get Sweet. Mother of goodness. So simple, too, so stand by. This whole thing was about to get. <laughs> this whole video was about to get rig, alright? Basically, we, right here, we got one snelled, right? Open end snell. Alright, so here we go. We got this one. What we're gonna do now. This is the Garrett right He didn't design it, but he's he showed me it, and somebody showed him it over in Brooklyn, I believe. So basically what we're gonna do is we have the one hook here, heating material, we're gonna drop this next hook the same way. We're gonna drop it right down. This is really cool, right, which I will be trying this year. All right, drop it right on top of it, so it sits on top of it just like that, all right? We're gonna do a double overhand knot. You can do the perfection knot. I couldn't care less what you do. The double overhand knot is so easy that it's ridiculous and insanely strong. I mean, you're not gonna mess that up. Alright? That trim. Alright, so this is gonna be a little longer leader, but I just used an old one. So check this out. This is pretty insane. This is pretty cool. I'm sure many of you guys know this already, but I'm just, this is for people that don't know it, who's just starting the blackfish. This is just a cool little rig that could probably keep you out of trouble too. It's kind of a gazy snack, snafu rig, but uh, it's not quite the snafu rig. All right, so this hook is on here. I'm gonna try to show you as best I can. Again, that guy goes to you drop a loop on your rod, and you have these two hooks here, both going the same direction. This guy's kind of sliding, and you hook into the crab just like that. Pretty damn cool, all right? Again, you're gonna wanna go through the back of the crab, each leg socket, and hook them up like that. You're gonna set them up. It's, it's, I'm telling you, I'm gonna be trying this rig this year. I know a blackfish maniac, and I didn't even know this, all right? But there's a lot of things I don't know. That's why I usually view uh, tips, all right? I'm not proud. View with tips. That's why my kid coach Chis Outdoors makes the con. The kid coach Chis Outdoors Nation, right there. I ain't doing The thing it is right now, I gotta go into a shout out, I forgot about that. Let me do a quick shout out for my con shout out. Fabulous. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, it's time for the con shout out. Kid Cochise Outdoors Nation. That's correct. Our boy over here, Craig DePonte, over in Block Island at night, dragging eels, hooked up with over a 50 inch fish at 43 plus pounds, all right? Everybody, give them a round of applause. Oh, I like to cheer them too. Craig DePonte, this week's Tuesday's shout out. Congratulations, Craig. Kill a fish. Great picture. Shake of these. Thanks for watching. Get Go Cheese Outdoors. Next time. If you guys want to follow us on Instagram, go for it. Not a big fan of Instagram, but if you want to see what's happening in the Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors world, follow the Instagram right there, all right? You don't have to. You can. It's all right. But if you can, subscribe and like to the Kid Coach Cheese YouTube channel, all right? Every Tuesday, film's coming out. Next one's going to be a little more shenanigans. But uh, that's it. Today's was a how-to. Go out there and get some blackfish, all right? Fall's coming. Use those rigs. Choose which one you think is going to suit you best. And uh, thanks for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors, all right? Everybody take care. Share these. If you can, again, subscribe. That's all I got to say. Hell yeah, and like. Liking's good. Very good. Share these. Thanks for watching. Peace.